Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, welcome, salut, ça va, bonjour, from cold, freezing France. Yes, the environment changed, we are not in Thailand anymore. Anyways, let's cut to the chase. Today's video is Vegan Club. The first rule of Vegan Club is you tell everybody about veganism, right? Guys, when I look through Instagram or YouTube, people that just went vegan are welcomed with open arms. Welcome to the vegan club. All the vegans like to take fit people, people with muscle, people with gains and say those guys are representatives of veganism. Meanwhile, they've been vegan only for a month or two. Then, when they finally drop out of veganism, the vegans scream and shout. Those people have been only plant-based. None of them have been truly ethical vegans. So vegans, I have an idea for you. How about you establish a new rule set for veganism? A rule set that qualifies one as a true vegan. What does it truly take? Because apparently you're not happy with the old definition of veganism anymore. The definition used to be as practicable as possible, right? That was enough. You were considered a vegan. Nowadays, you've been merely plant-based, not a true vegan. Guys, make up your mind. I suggest to you, why don't you have a apprenticeship for veganism? Why don't you have a trial period for veganism? How about a three-year trial before somebody is truly considered vegan? I say it is better that way. I say that you shouldn't be allowed to call yourself vegan if you haven't been vegan for three years straight. At least anything else is up to you. Maybe there are certain other definitions that you would like to add to that list. Because Vegan Gains, Richard just came out with another video. Raw vegans are not really vegan, he likes to say. Guys, you have to make up your mind. What does it truly mean to be a vegan? This is my honest question to you. How come that everybody that exits veganism is absolutely ridiculed and their characters get assassinated? Everybody that leaves the cult is considered an apostate, somebody that never truly was in it for the real reasons, somebody that is a fraud, a failure, a disappointment to the vegan community. Never really vegan. But how about Raw Vana or Elise from Raw Alignment? When they were vegan, everybody admired them and everybody was happy to use them as healthy representatives for veganism. The same goes for Tim Sheaf, of course. Tim Sheaf was the vegan prince. Everybody admired Tim for his athletic performance and he was the representative for veganism. Everybody was happy to have him on board. Man, they put him into Game Changers, the vegan documentary that literally should change the world. You were happy to have them, but now you dismiss them. Now you discredit them. Now you claim that those people have never been vegan. Possibly you need a belt system, like in Jiu Jitsu. There are certain attributes that you need to accomplish before you become a blue belt, before you become a purple belt, a brown belt, so on and so forth. You need a certain point system, a mechanism that can qualify one as a true vegan. I truly mean it. I would like to see the vegan community step up, really step up and define what you need to accomplish before you are considered a real vegan. All right, guys, and this is it for today's video. Just a quick one. I'm trying to bang out as many videos as possible, but I'm constantly on the move right now. As I said in my live stream, it is still very, very busy. Next destination will be Germany. Hey, maybe we can do a meetup with the viewers because I know for a fact many Germans are watching. All right, but this is it for today's video. As always, guys. Ah, I forgot something. If you liked it, leave me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And as always, guys, much love and peace.